test a few weeks ago like after a obviously a very disappointing result if I had a said to you that week you'd be in the group stages, what would you say to me? <laughs> Probably a smoke up. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's a completely different conversation that night and we were in a completely different place. But that's football for weeks a long time and um, listen, sometimes you don't know how how or why things happen. But um listen, just thankful we're here now. Massive for you as well. You were someone who probably wasn't in the team necessarily up until that cer certain point, and you, you seem to be enjoying your football again. Yeah, um, football's a game of opinions, and, and you know, to take it sometimes, and people don't fancy it. Um, never stop working, keep trying, and, and you know, for myself <laughs> and for the team, that if I am called upon, I'm, I'm ready. Uh, that's the way of keeping when I wasn't in the team. Um, but yeah, it's a bit of luck on my part, you know. And uh, performances I thought have been decent, can always be better. I think for everyone, we can be better. Um, but yeah, listen, it's like I said, a week's a long time in football, and the last one or two months show that it's like a change around of a couple of years. Brian, how do you assess like in 2016 when you did this fly in the league and everything now compared to this year? Like, is there any similarity or <laughs> Uh, I don't think so anyway, with this year and how we got here, let's be honest. Um, we've got such talent and we've got a great group of lads, like, there's no doubt in that, I can tell you that the talent. Um, we have a bigger squad with an abundance of talent. Um, but yeah, it's been a different year. Like the way we, like, you don't have to tell the story of the last month or two. Um, it's a different sort of style of playing even at times. and. Uh, Completely different, but there's different ways to reach the same destination, and you know, this shows it. Do you appreciate this one more? Yeah, for me personally, yeah. Um, a lot of us have got a lot of stuff flung at us um, this year, last year. You know, in the last thing, I suppose as I'm getting older, uh, you know, a lot of people write you off, and that's just football, like I said, it's opinions. But uh, it's always nice to prove them wrong. And, um, but I think I think this group and, and this journey to symbolise is that, like, Good word and the stuff that we had to go through in the last few months, last couple of months, and uh, the mental strength and fortitude from from every player in that dressing room um, to stick to it, not give in, and, uh, and back themselves and work their socks off, and this is the reward. Brian, I mean, forty days obviously it feels like a long time, maybe it's a short time in football too. But given where your league form was at, given you've been knocked out of the Champions League qualifiers, as a group of players, did you feel a pressure to try and turn the season around at that point? I don't think there was a pressure. I think because of where we were, there was no pressure. That might have helped as well, but like because of the performances and you know, um, they weren't great performances. But there were some of them that weren't bad performances. We didn't win games. We dropped points. And it's a bounce of a ball and a couple of decisions that didn't go our way. And other years are going our way. You know, you'd be four points different, and it's it's a completely different thing. And you see what four points in that league does in terms of you know how close it is. Um, but yeah, I think it maybe it, it took off a bit of pressure. And it was a great distraction. Like. Yeah, the league was what it was, but you can be heroes here. This is where we can go. This we can make the mark, and this is where you know we, you'll make lasting memories. And, and uh, I suppose set yourself aside from the rest. Just in terms of tonight's game, given you were in such a good position, two 0 up, a couple of minutes into the second half, what happened that you kind of retreated back into your shell for about twenty minutes after that? Uh, I think I think maybe our intensity just dropped. We let them get a foot on the ball, uh, get their head up to pick them. The long balls. We knew exactly their game plan. We knew what they do, and um, I think maybe concentration of that just maybe just died a little bit, and we lost our way. Um, a couple of second balls didn't go away, and then on the back four we dropped off a few yards. So he gets that couple of yards to turn and shoot, and then anything can happen. And we playing a team like that. We talked about it before. Set up with a guy up that they're going long. They're going long. You drop off. You, you know, any bounce of the ball is in around your box, and anything can happen. And you see that, I think it took a little deflection and skips off the ground and probably speeds up the shot, making it harder. And, uh, gets, you're always liable to do that. Anything can, can happen. So, um, so when that happens, uh, you know, when it's 2-1, you're, you're back against the wall. The team's always just going to throw everything at you. And that's their way anyway to play. So, like, I think, you know, we took in. We knew we could hit them on the break. Uh, when they attacked, it was an opportunity for us always. Um, but I think, yeah, if we look back on the performance in the second half, it was 
was as far as we've been in the last, I suppose, since the new staff has come in. Cleaver was saying that he wants Spurs in a group stage. Is there anyone in particular that you want to draw against? No, uh, there's a the debate there. <laughs> well, I do have to brought it up, but um, when you look at the, the pots this on you look like Ace Milan are still drawn, and, um, but they're pot three, and that's their pot three. You know, there's giants of clubs around the place. Um, Spurs' new stadium, obviously, with all that. You know, be nice, but ultimately, you want to get games as well. Top one, the seeds, you know, you're going to be up against it. There's, a, there's always the risk of, you know, big teams turning over too easy and that. But um, we want teams that we can compete against and give us the best chance of picking up points, and like we did 2016, uh, pick up points. And we came away from that with a little bit of regret because um, so close to then at home, you know, and so close in a few games. That a couple more points, you know, you never know. So, uh, yeah, nice to get big toys, but we're not there just to take part. If you are, like, you know, it's a long attitude completely. You we know. spoke about some morning after you were not getting the Champions League, and I think it was, you know, some stuff around it. If Vinny was going to stay or go, and you didn't know what was going to happen, I had a set to you then, 40 days later, you'd be sitting here preparing for group stages. What would you have said? Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. Even to say, like, I was, I played a few games as well, like, coming out of the cold and, and playing. Um, but I've been around football long enough to know like, it's, it's capable of happening. One, one change, when someone gets injured, you're in, you do well, and that's what um, it is. So you always have to have that hope and that belief. If you don't have a bit of hope, you're never going to achieve that. How, how did you leave all you said, not winning the group over, but like that first day you're in, you've you know, the right guys coming in, but they seem to have got off the right foot all straight away, and that must be big. Yeah, uh, the first day is always key, and again, like it's not a manager we all know coming in, and, and you know the you know the whole I suppose um, story around it, and there was a lot of you know you guys were writing about it, and um, you know didn't know the guys and that sort of thing. So obviously a small league like this, it was a big story and big narrative around it and the first day came in and a lot of managers might just it was the next day just sit and watch training and observe and then you know take it next day came into our prehab uh, in the Astro and just get in amongst the players and talk really well like he does he thought he's confident he's really assured in his, in his speech and what he wants to do and he told us he has a plan and this is it um, and the confidence breeds confidence that's, I suppose, the best way to put it. Um, he talks well. He, um, he doesn't talk too often, and when he does, you know, so his weight will carry carry more words that way. Um, so his mannerisms and stuff like that breeds confidence into people. He's, he gets on really well with all the lads. Um, nice fella. So, you know, when you have people that are happy, you'll get a response. And I think a day or two later, I'd meet with him, and he, he asked me honestly what I thought. And I said, listen, you're confident, you're structured, you're well organised. We've only had one or two sessions, so I don't know what you like as a coach. And I go, but well, you've got a great bunch of players in there, in terms of football wise and uh, people. I go, so you're going to get a response. You keep a happy dressing room, you'll have a response, and you'll have good performances from people in there. Um, and that's like, like that's his way. It's just natural to him. Um, and then obviously tactically, you can see he's implementing his own way. And, um, it's different than it's new to us, but um, credit to all the lads in the dressing room is that they're open-minded and, you know, no one's just turned the back and said, oh, that's not right or this isn't going to work. Everyone's open-minded and, and go with it. So I think it's a collective um, from the new management and from the, the squad of players is, you know, the reason why, you know, we've had to turn around. Does that mean more tonight? You obviously missed that Fatih game to, to be part of it for the celebrations at the end. Was that... And you're not, yeah, new co-coms as well. Yeah, uh, already grabbed me straight away, and I sort of, so I sort of missed a few a minute or two. Of it. But uh, yeah, it it makes up because I did look back on 2016 or 20. I think I missed a couple of games, you know, came through injury and qualification. Um, and it's that, but listen, everybody's got their own personal things, and you know, you miss out things here and there, sort of thing. It's personal things, but tonight's about the you know the squad and the click. And obviously Rings End boys scoring a goal like that. What was it like? Oh, it was unbelievable in the backyard. It's uh I was dreaming about it all last night hoping I didn't know whether I was gonna be playing. Uh so uh, I knew I'd get me chance at some stage and thankfully it's 
took about half an hour to win with a Yeah. Unbelievable feeling. It, you, you must have been looking on thinking that was the type of game that might suit you because it's yeah, I was actually I was looking at the left full after around 50, 60 minutes and he sort of was blowing a bit so I was, I was looking at him and saying to myself I could sort of, if I do get on I could get down the wing and get at him straight away and, say, <laughs> and uh, I got at him straight away and I said it's, it's a great ball from Sean Murray, I don't know whether I think it was just onside and thankfully it's gone in but unbelievable scene so. You must be sick of these lads talking about 2016 oh, Stop the least I can say to the next lads that come in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, that's just to be a part of it. Listen, I, I, I watched them talk in 2016 and was watching all the games and how they, they how they were doing. And now to be a part of it again, it's just it's unbelievable. Any preference yourself? Do you get any team with a draw you'd like or anything? I'd like sports as well. Take Carabell down the line anyway. Brian, can I just say, uh, any questions there first? Can you jump in? Yeah, bring it to you. Uh, bring it to you. Yeah, I'll use anything actually. I'll, I'll For any energy, really, but like the manager was, wasn't too happy with the overall performance tonight. He, he, and I suppose watching on, there was moments where he would have been frustrated, especially when at 2 1 and they were knocking on the door for the equalizer. But at the final whistle, there was a real sense of the team. Just, I don't know if it was the weight lifted off his shoulders or whatever. Do you think we'll, we'll, we'll now see that it was, I suppose, a, a return to what we expect to see with the lot of people that were running? And and the group stages. Um, yeah, listen, I touched on it before. The performance, the second half performance was poor. There's, there's no way to get about it. But one of those, you come away and you don't care. Um, it says a lot of improvement needed to, to come in. Like we've got a big game on on Sunday. Um, we've got to finish in the European spaces. And there's a lot of teams around. But I think we're fifth in the table at the moment. Now we've a couple of games in hand, but we've got to go and win them. And win our next few games, so we can't be just looking at Europe. We want to be back here. We want to be a club with aspirations of doing it yearly, which it is. Um, so yeah, uh, we will be looking to be improved performance. And I think against Shells, we were very good. Obviously, the two set pieces, you know, against us, um, so that distorted the overall performance in terms of the score and how the game was. Um, but we're we're slowly building and improving, and we're never happy. So I think you know it comes across between the manager and. The lads, the way we respond, that way we're never happy until we're we're showing signs of you know above a ninety percent performance. Dan, I heard you talk in the build up, and you were hoping maybe your uncle might get in and steer it. He was. He let us in through the gate when we were coming. <laughs> <in>. <laughs> uh, I think he asked, he asked his boss there on Tuesday night to see if she could let him in. So thankfully he got in. But I seen him coming in. He gave us a nice wave when we were coming in on the bus. Yeah, it was good. It was a good moment that someone could have their family around. I guess. Yeah, no, it's great. It's my mum's brother, so he's, he's he's worked here since the last 15, 20 years. My dad used to work here as well, but uh, he's a lovely fella, and he was obviously he was buzzing after. I didn't get a chance to see him, but uh, before the game, he looked real happy and waving and stuff to all the lads. So that's uh, yeah, just a great night all around. So you've been working here trying to get how long have you been waiting for you to score here? Jesus, <laughs> I don't know. It's been a long time anyway. I was dreaming out as I said last night. So thankfully, I was not. It was only saying to to Darrett and Dave uh, and Cammy this morning and last night say that I haven't. Haven't scored this season until the June, so thankfully it's no better time to get one in tonight. Congrats. Thank clearly he's out, but actually was secured. Yeah, he was actually. He got it, yeah, he just got a one off job, I think, tonight. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> it's, it's a nice start, you know. I'm sure, Darren, you, you know, spoke to a couple of players in the week who have been involved in this group and been involved in group stages, spoke to others like Greg Slog, who haven't, and he said one of the reasons he came to the club was to play in matches like this and have opportunities like this. I'm sure you'd be similar. Yeah, definitely. Um, that was probably one of the major factors why um, why they come here. And as Gareth said earlier, like the last the last time they did it, like you're kind of not sticking out any stories, but you just you wanna wanna do it yourself and make your own bit of history. And um, thankfully, it's going to do it. Like, yeah. Yeah, you've been in the team in recent weeks as well. And I thought you know you played really well tonight. How do you think you fit in? And I know Ben Mass has been injured, but. I'm sure when you came, you knew you were going to have to compete with him for a place and, and to have been in the team in, in, in these weeks and these big games, I'm sure is a big plus for you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think after the break, Dane was <coughs> Dane played the, the first few games after the break and then um, he said the first round of Champions League, I, I, uh, I played and I'd like to think it took my chance and I 
mine personally, and I don't think I was, I was too grateful as the lad said it's about the results. Um, not too much of a performance, obviously you have to improve that, but um, yeah, I think I did take my chance when I, when I was given it. The boys both spoke there about you who might get in the draw. The manager before you came in said he wants to manage against Jose Mourinho and that he was one of his idols. If you could pick some, not just the club, but maybe the players in some of the opposition clubs you might get, what type of lads would you like to get yourself against? I'm not even too sure what, what teams we're in, to be honest with you. So, um, I think Arsenal's in the round already, so that'd be, that'd be a nice one, Arsenal. Yeah. We're excited and I'm sure you're just really looking forward to seeing the draw tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely. It hasn't, it hasn't sunk in yet. It'll take a few days, like, but all the lads will probably get together tomorrow and we'll watch the draw. Just ask Darren if it's strange to have a big game. Because you know everyone's watching, but they're not there with the ground. You know you're used to it the last couple of weeks, but were you aware of that in the game tonight? That this was like a national audience, there's a big audience watching this game. Uh, not, not really, to be honest. Like it, I think it kind of took the pressure off a little bit that that there was no fans there. Obviously they're watching, but um, as you said, it's a lot different that they're not actually there in person. But um, no, like it was, it, it did, it did feel a bit different. Like, but we're used to it at this stage. Can you remember watching any of the games in 2016? Yeah, I don't actually remember who. Same game. <laughs> <laughs> no, I remember a few of the games in Pala, yeah. I think the game against Pate, I remember watching them. Um, mm. Stenna, was it Stenna? Yeah. Yeah, so it's uh, yeah. Uh, it's nice to be part of it now, so I was looking forward to it. Is it surreal for you? I don't know if you're aware. You've actually played more minutes in Europe than you have in all the other competitions. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, that's some stuff. Uh, no, like, no, oh, with six to go, you can finish the season with the same stat, you know what I mean? Like, if you're rotating in the league or something, like it's. Yeah, uh, that's. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're okay, Bell. Roger? Yeah. Melvin? Are you ready?